It is Jim. It is time for a video. It is time for horse lips. No idea what this is. This is um, one of those records that you uh, eagle-eyed viewers will remember came in the huge big stack of records that I bought off uh, eBay. I think there was like 50 records so as a job lot um, clear out from a radio station, as it turns out. Um, and this is the first... Is this the first one I played from the... I, I think this might be the first record I've actually played from that hall. Um, I've just looked up what Horse Lips is. It's, uh, they are still going. But um, they are an Irish... Um, I, I Irish Celtic rock band... Uh, whatever that means. I, I don't really know what that means. So uh, I guess I'm going to find out. Mm. Let's do this. So it's been a while. The stuff is recording. It is. Right, let's go. Actually, let's just have a little talk about what this is first of all, shall we? Horse lips. Uh, so we have loneliness. Tonight you're with me. Tonight you are with me. Uh, I'll be waiting. If it takes all night, Green Star Liner. Then side two, The Man Who Built America. Homesick, Long Weekend, Letters from Home, Long Time Ago. So, this record is called The Man Who Built America. It is by the band Horse Lips. I'm out of practice. I have no idea what this is going to be like. Uh, it's just so, I just wanted to do something completely random, something not on the radar of anybody at all. I thought, what's the first record I'll pluck out of this pile? This is it. So it may be a bit shite. It might be good. Who knows? But uh, we'll find out. <laughs> uh, I better just say cheers. God save the king. Three, two, one. We have some crackle. So many things it sounds like. This is the theme to Friends. Is it not? Come on. Hilarious! Friends is a total rip-off! I had no idea! I hope they sued them. It's a cracking, cracking melody. The Rembrandt sounds the band, doesn't it? I'll be there for you. A 
fiddle. So this is the Celtic bit, I guess. So before it got to that, it threw me off, off, uh, off my stride with the... Um, this chorus. I was going to say, so it reminds me very much of um, stuff like Buzzcocks. That's a Roxy music. It's about the right era, it's 1978. Brilliant. Well done, Horseless. What a track. Cracking little song, that. <laughs> what are we going to have next? The theme to Cheers? Or... Tonight, tonight, you're with me. Tonight, tonight, tomorrow. tomorrow. Tonight, tonight, you're with me. Tonight, tonight, tomorrow. This is actually quite fun, this music is really good. You can really imagine being in a, in a hall with the band playing and uh, really having a good time for this. Ah, lovely. I applaud them for doing something a bit different. Night you're with me. There's definitely got a sort of a sort of a Celtic vibe to it, isn't it? Very good. <laughs> What's next? I can't actually remember. It is. I'll be waiting. 
And I've said this about so many records from the 1970s. Even though this is an entirely different sort of uh, genre and sound to that which we are used to listen to on the channel, the quality of the recording is phenomenal. I love it. The drum sound is just magical. The space and the, the stereo feel is absolutely beautiful and it's so warm. bit of um, sort of Bruce Springsteen sort of sound to this I love it. Very small bit. Relatively happy to hear. I'm not happy to hear this. The wrong word. I'm happily surprised. Is that the right word I want to say? Right it's, um, Lovely. 
goes to show, and I've said this a thousand times before, the music you don't know is so much more than what you do. This record's a keeper, definitely. Amazing song though, L- brilliant guitar solo. I mean, not obviously going to set the world on fire guitar solo, but a very, very, very fine guitar solo. That guitar part before the flute comes in, it could almost have been shot off the really early, early Iron Maiden uh, album. But not with the, what's going on now. But. Just the tone of it. Iron Maiden, Paul Diana era. If they'd played a gig with uh, Ian, Ian Anderson, you know? A bit of heat. period of uh, 1970s music that wasn't punk, but it wasn't uh, sort of like uh, your romantic, I'm not sure what it was called, but it was things like Roxy music. It was Buzz Cox magazine, it was um, that sort of, uh, sort of Roxy music and um, undertones as well. But it's kind of had punk leanings, but it wasn't actual punk. And that just this kind of fits in there so well. Is it new wave? I'm not sure. That's a term I've heard banded about. I'm not quite sure what it means. But uh... this is great. 
Ooh. Could be Stranglers now. Golden Brown. Oh, that's a track, isn't it? It's the reverb, it's the reverb on these tracks which makes it sound so awesome. These are really well-written little songs and they're not really formulaic in the way that some music can be. They're not necessarily following expected chord cool changes. Oh. Yeah, definitely not. Is it prog? I don't think so. I don't because I think, generally speaking, progressive music tends to be much, much longer. But it's certainly and you know, original. So hard to change my mind. But I was oh so young and proud and blind. Green star light, I carried me to find a shell from the sea. Forty miles here, twenty times here. What I wanna be, green star light. So many different little instruments playing in here. Very, very, very good. I like this. I, this is such a such a fun record. Right, hold on. Let's quickly get that off the record. Uh, stop that and stop. That before we run out of space. Horse lips. The man who built America. Horse lips. The man who built America. Um, having literally no idea what this was or who this was or um, anything at all about it, I'm relatively. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. That's the word. I was. That's the exact phrase I was looking for. Happily surprised. No, pleasantly surprised. This is really, really good. It's a this record. Um, I've got a sort of selection over here which you cannot see. Um, let me show you. Hold on. Turn this bad boy on again. So, I have. Oh, I'm a whole stack of records over there. There's about 50 of them in total. Um, which are the ones that hello, came in, as I said, from the um, eBay job lot that I got from this uh, radio station that uh, was having a bit of a clear out. And this is one of them. And uh, yeah, I literally know nothing about this band at all, apart from just what I literally looked up um, 
five minutes before starting making this video. So uh, it's of these records, I don't think I'm necessarily going to keep them all. Um, we'll see what they're like as we go through them. Yeah, I probably will. <laughs> but uh, no, I've got a couple of repeats in there of things I already have, so that I'll, I'll, I will be getting rid of those. Um, and if there's anything in there which is really not to my taste, not really that enjoyable, then yeah, sure, I'll, I'll get rid of that as well. But uh, this is a definite keeper. I'm liking this a lot. This is Horse Lips. This is The Man Who Built America from 1978. And uh, I cannot believe, I genuinely cannot believe what a rip-off that Friends song um, uh, by the Rembrandts is of the first song from this record called Loneliness. Loneliness by Horse Lips. As I say, I hope they sued uh, I hope they sued Warner Brothers and uh, and the Rembrandts um, and got a lot of money for that because that's totally exactly the same tune. Uh, absolute rip off. Um, but uh, it's a cracking tune. It's a cracking tune. So there we go. Uh I shall see you guys on the next video, or whenever, and whatever that is. It's probably going to be side two of this. <laughs> Until then, this is Jim over, and out.